Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll have an inorganic test. I'll split it in two parts. Um, but first we'll do the homework from last time. You had to show me a graph of absorbance being directly proportional to concentration. So as per the hint, it is a linear graph, straight, of absorbance over concentration, known as Beer's law plot. The second question was you had to write the rate equation for this reaction. I'm only going to involve the reactants because we're only interested in the reactants. So it's going to be rate is equal to K times hydrogen peroxide times iodine, iodide and hydro hydrogen ion. To the power of 3, don't forget that one. Okay, and the last question was you had to um, tell me the order of the reactants. So if the first one was first order and the second hydroxide ion was second order, why? Because once you doubled the concentration of ClO, the rate increased by 2 as well. So it's first order. When I double the concentration of hydroxide ion, the rate increased by 4. So it is second order because 2 to the power of 2. Okay, now we shall start with the test. I will give you five seconds after telling you about each question or you can just pause the video, try to find the answers and then resume. And the first question is, okay, you have to divide the following list in two groups. One is ligands and one is central metal ion. Okay, so this is the list. And your time starts now. Okay, so ligands, they are mainly anions or neutral molecules. And CMI, they are mainly, uh, they're metals with charges, right? Positive charges, they're cations. So we have in ligands, carbon monoxide, water, cyanide, hydroxide, oxygen, and ethylene. Diamine. For the metals, we have aluminium, we have calcium, iron, zinc. Okay, on to the next question. You have to give me the oxidation number of the metal, which is platinum, in this coordination compound. You have platinum with sulfate and ammonia and bromine in the outer sphere. Okay, first we need to find the complex charge in order to find the CMI charge. So if bromine is minus 1, two bromine molecules will be minus 2 and the complex ion will be plus 2. Now we know ammonia is neutral, 0. We know sulfate is minus 2. So using algebra, platinum is going to be plus 2 with another plus 2 from the sulfate giving us plus 4. Okay, now the third question is an MCQ. The central metal atom can be A, an anion, B, a cation with two or more charges, C, a cation or an anion, or D, a cation or metal atom having unoccupied valence atomic orbitals. And the answer is D. It has to have unoccupied so it can form coordinate covalent bonds. The next question, number four, the spatial form of the complex ion, cobalt and ethylene diamine is A, linear, B, tetrahedral, C, trigonal planar, D, square planar, or E, octahedral. And the answer is C, trigonal planar, because we have three ligands. Question number five, what happens to a solution of acid in terms of pH when you add excess base? A. pH decreases, B. increases, or C. remains unchanged. The answer is B. It increases because acidic pH is low. Question number six. Pick the acid according to Arrhenius theory. Is it A, B, or C? Okay, the answer is C, because the, it's the only one that can ionize and give us hydrogen. 
Question number seven. Which compound has the greatest London forces? Is it A? Is it B? Is it C? Or is it D? The answer is D, because the bigger the compound, the larger the molecule, the greater the London forces. Question number eight. Alkyls are A, electron donating, B, electron withdrawing, C, neutral, or D, A and B. So the answer is A. They are inductive positive. They are electron donating. Question number nine. If I have a pH range for color change around 8.3 to 10, which indicator will I use? A. Methyl orange. B. Methyl violet. C. Litmus. Or D. Phenolphthalein. The answer is D. Phenolphthalein. Question number 10 is, um, what is the coordination number and the oxidation number of the central metal ion in this coordination compound? So you have potassium in the outer sphere. You have iron. Cyanide and carbon monoxide. The coordination number is 6 because 5 cyanide and 1 carbon monoxide. Okay, so 1 potassium is plus 1, 3 will be plus 3, so the complex ion is minus 3. Carbon monoxide is neutral, 0 cyanide is minus 1, times 5 will be minus 5. So doing algebra, we can say that minus 3 plus 5 will give us plus 2. Okay, question number 11, you have to tell me which of these following molecules have single bonds and which of them have double bonds. So here's the list. Okay, the molecules with single bonds include iodine, then we have ethane, and that's it. The molecules containing double bonds are oxygen because it has a valency of 2, then you have carbon monoxide, um, sulfur dioxide and ethene. Okay moving on to question 12 you have to list the spatial forms of the following coordination compounds. So look at the number of ligands. The first one is has two ligands. The second and third ones have four ligands. Okay, two means linear. The second one has four of the same ligands, so it's tetrahedral. The third one has two different ligands, so it is square, planar. Moving on to question 13. Okay, arrange the following in terms of uh, decreasing acidity. So you have A, monochloroacetic acid, B is acetic acid, and C is sulfuric acid. So sulfuric acid is the strongest, followed by monochloroacetic and then acetic. Okay, question number 14 is, if a coordination compound had or has five ligands, what shape, geometrical shape, will it acquire? The answer is, trigonal by pyramidal and this is how you draw it first you draw a triangle then you join it from the top and the bottom to make it by pyramidal and then you can count you have five um, points for 
attachment of the ligands. Moving on to question 15, you have to draw the structure of EDTA, ethylene diamine tetraacetate. Okay, for question number 16, you have to show me uh, the henderson hasselbalch equation for an acid. For question number 17, I will uh, show you a few structures and you have to tell me which one or which ones are conjugated. Going by the yes no method, it's A, C, and E. Question number 18, it's a fill in the blank. So the reaction of a weak base with a strong acid gives a blank. What kind of solution does it give us? So the answer is a weakly acidic solution. Question number 19, you have to draw the titration graph of a weak acid and a strong base. Alright, moving on to question nine, uh, 20, sorry, you have to write the rate equation for the following reaction. So you have sodium plus HCl, hydrochloric acid, giving us NaCl plus hydrogen. Now, solids are like water, they are constant. So... The answer is rate is equal to K times HCl only. And the last question is reaction with a low enthalpy of reaction value is not spontaneous at low temperatures, but it becomes spontaneous at higher temperatures. So keeping this in mind, Tell me what are the signs of enthalpy and entropy respectively. Okay, so enthalpy is going to be positive. Why? Because when delta S surroundings is positive, the total will be negative. And if you increase the temperature, the negative value becomes lesser and lesser, which means that the and for uh, the entropy becomes positive. All right, guys, I hope you did well. That was it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye.